Hello and welcome to Quick Tip 29 and we're going to be looking at a simple counter. What I've done is created a counter 1 which is intrabar persist and counter 2 and what I'm doing is incrementing them on each bar and printing out the result. Now because counter 1 is intrabar persist that means that the counter will remember its value last tick and if we look at the chart you'll see that uh, the result is that the counter one uh, increments each tick and counter two increments each bar. And if I just go ahead and clear the chart, you'll see starting, they start at a very similar level, but then of course, as the, the ticks come in, then the uh, counter one gets a lot higher, a lot more quickly. But what I wanted to demonstrate was if we changed this program a little bit and we said, you know what, I want to actually count the, uh, uh, say, 0.25, a quarter each tick. And uh, similarly for the counter two, so 0.25. And then we run the program. And you'll notice immediately we get something down here. Implicit conversion may lose bits of precision. Let's have a look at the chart. And you'll now notice that the counters are not incrementing at all. And this can be a little puzzling. But uh, if we just go back to the program and have a quick look at it, you'll notice what the problem is. And that is that we've set both these variables as integers. And of course, 0.25 is not an integer. That's why we're getting this strange result. So if I just go ahead and change this to double in each case, and then verify the program, and then go back to the chart, you'll see now that it's behaving as we might expect, and it's incrementing by 0.25 each tick or each bar, depending on which variable we're looking at. So hope that might be useful.